So, this is my lathe, and this is my tool post on it. I can clamp my tool holders with it and quickly switch between different tools, and it all works fine. However, there's something on it that annoys me every time after I turn the cone. Let me show you. Right here I'm turning an aluminium part. It has a smaller diameter in front, followed by a bigger one. I want to turn a cone now to smoothly connect both diameters. Let's set up the machine for that. First I need to slightly loosen both nuts from the top slide. Turn it to the needed angle, 20 degree in this case, and tighten both nuts again. I can't turn the cone like this. The cutting edge of the tool can't reach the part because the tool holder is in the way. I need to turn the tool post 20 degrees in the other direction to make it possible. Now it's working and I can turn the cone. When I'm done, I can turn the top slide back to zero degree. And now comes the annoying part. I have to turn the tool post back to its original position. And this has to be 100% accurate. I need to remove the part and the collet for this. I usually did this by holding it against the spindle to make it parallel again. It's always time consuming and annoying. So my idea is to drill and ream a hole into the top slide, so I can orient the tool post to exactly zero degree, just with a pin connection through this existing hole in the tool post. First, I quickly need to make a custom center punch to mark the position of the hole on the top slide later. This is a hardened pin by the way. I'm just turning on a pointy end on one side. Ok, now I need to verify with a dial indicator that the top slide is at exactly zero degree. I correct the offset with a few light hits with the nylon hammer until the top slide is lined up perfectly. Now I'm doing the same with the tool post. That's good enough. Now I can mark the exact position of this hole on the top slide with my custom center punch. Disassemble everything so I can drill the hole over on the drill press. As you can see the center punch worked. I got a nice little mark right here. Right now I'm only pre-drilling this hole to 7.8 mm. The hole will later be reamed in position to its final diameter of 8.01 mm to achieve maximum accuracy. Now I fix the top slide back on the lathe. Fix the tool post on it and line up everything perfectly again.
and all that just to remove it right afterwards again. But this time I'll keep the perfectly lined up tool post on it. Like this I can ream the hole in the top slide perfectly accurate, lined up with the existing hole of the tool post. Put it back on the lathe. Clean the fresh reamed hole, test it with the pin, fits perfectly, put some oil spray on it and fix the tool post on it. Now let's see if it works. The final test. Perfect. And it has almost no play. Now let's see for the last time how accurate my work is with the dial indicator. It looks absolutely perfect. This will be a huge help in the future.